Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have an update from the Divine Masculine. We're gonna find out how they're currently feeling about the Divine Feminine in the Twin Flame Collective. Let's get straight into this. Okay, so I do see that this Divine Masculine that I'm picking up today, they're getting guided, okay? Guided from spirit, okay, to reach out to you. They're getting guided to take action, okay? They're getting a lot of, I'm hearing downloads. They're getting a lot of downloads at the moment. They're getting a lot of dreams, a lot of signs, okay? I do see this person reaching out, okay? I do see this person sending you a message, okay? Taking some type of action towards you. Um, this person wants to take things to the next level. They really want to work on things. Um, it's like they're about to reach out, yet this person is a little bit anxious because this Divine Masculine, um, they're not looking the best. They're not feeling the best, okay? Something in their life has happened, okay? They've had some type of glow down, okay? Um, I do see them not feeling their best best at the moment okay i do see them not looking after themselves at the moment as well so it's like they're a little nervous to come forward because they feel like they're not looking the best they're not feeling the best okay they're not in the best position either um financially they've been going through a little bit of a tower moment here okay um though i do see this person following their intuition and reaching out um for some of them, they may try to reach out, like, face-to-face. -face. Like, they may try to run into you face-to-face, -face, or they may want to meet up and talk face-to-face, -face, okay? I'm hearing butterfly, right? I am getting this person really nervous at the moment. It's like they're about to, to take the jump, I'm hearing, okay? So it's like... This person's about to communicate with you, but they're really anxious at the moment, okay? Thinking about how they're going to approach you, what they're going to say. I'm hearing dragon. Let me know if that resonates. I do see this person going from not speaking at all, okay? Like no communication to... All of a sudden, a lot of communication. Um, I do see this person wanting to talk to you, wanting to sort things out. Um, I do see them also being very quiet, okay, about what they're doing. So it's like they're doing this in secret, okay? It's like they're planning to reach out in secret. They're not telling anybody about it. I'm hearing unfinished business. Like this person feels like... They've left, th left things unfinished, right? I do see this person recognising that they've been acting very immature, okay? They haven't really been doing what they've, like, wanted to do. Like, they've been holding themselves back from this connection, um, I'm hearing dead end, okay? So it's like they've been feeling like this like, isn't going anywhere, okay, they've been doing nothing, like, they haven't been communicating with you at all, and this person also hasn't been happy, right, it's like, they feel like everything in their life is, it's like very stagnant, okay, everything has stopped, um, this person seems to be very bored, uh, the only thing they, they seem to focus on is you, they seem to really get a lot of signs about you, and it's like it's taken them a long time to build the courage here to reach out, right? But I do see this person stepping in their power and at least communicating with you. And I do see this person, it's like they want to take things, like they want to move really quickly, okay? So I do see them communicating. As soon as they like communicate, 
they want to take action, they want to meet up. Um, like this person wants to, they don't want to waste any more time. So this person is keeping this a secret. They're also acting like they're not speaking to you because there's like a few people, especially two other people around them. Um, one of them may, may be older than them, okay, and one of them may be younger. But these two people are standing in the way, okay. It's like they give them advice not to talk to you, okay. Um... The thing is, this person knows what they want, right? They know what they want. They know they're not happy without you. You're their wish fulfillment, okay? They feel a very strong connection to you. They also get signs about you. The thing is, right, this person, um, it's like this person was talking about you to two other people, okay? And it's like they were trying to turn them against you or saying things that weren't true, um, but it's like they wanted to keep them away from you, right? I do see a lot of people, um, really interested in you, okay? Especially these two people. Like, they seem to be too interested in you. So I do see this person basically talking shit about you, but this would like to try to throw them off, right? So they basically weren't interested in you, right? Because this person felt a very strong connection to you. They also were acting like they didn't care, right? Um, it's like this person on purpose said something about you, okay, or tried to... It's like said something that never happened, okay, or tried to say that they don't like you or they don't vibe with you, they cut you off, okay? And this person, um, this is literally them trying to manipulate, especially this one person away from you, okay? Um, it's like this person, okay, it's like this person was acting very immature, very childish here, okay? They were also talking shit about you, and this was like a manipulation tactic, okay, to turn people against you, okay, so they can do things in private. Um, I do see this person, it's like they are hiding behind this false character, right? It's like they actually know what this connection is, they actually want this connection, they just pretend they don't, they pretend that they're not interested in you, um, again, to throw other people off. I do see people around them, okay, it's like they were making, they could have been saying things like, you know, you're pretty or, you know, you're attractive, and it's like they wanted to throw them off, so they, they basically weren't interested in you, okay, because they felt like, you know, they're meant to be with you, like, this person, it's like as soon as they met you, they felt like they were supposed to marry you, even though they did a lot to hide their feelings, okay? It's like they were trying to manipulate people into thinking they weren't interested or you weren't who you really were. I am getting something about them, like, calling you crazy, okay? Like, trying to tell people that you're crazy, okay? Um, very possessive vibe, okay? Um... And I do see this person staying away from you again, trying to throw people off. But this person has been planning, right? This person's been planning to come in, right? It's like very secretive. They didn't want anyone to come in and basically take their opportunity. Like, so this person decided to try to manipulate people into thinking that they did not care about you. I'm hearing, I'm hearing Ernie. Let me know if that resonates. So you may feel like this person hasn't been doing anything at all, okay, to move towards this connection. They've really been planning, okay, behind the scenes. Um, it's like they're planning to take things to the next level. Again, doing this in secret, right? Um, I do see this person... It's like they're trying to hide it from one other person, right? 
They don't trust this other person. This masculine decided to pretend they had no feeling for you, okay? They were being really selfish. Um, I do see them receiving karma, okay? They also tried to use logic here, okay? It's like, when they first met you, they knew this was a special connection, but then they tried to, like, play this like a 3D connection, right? If that makes sense. They also tried to hide their emotions and pretend they did not feel the way they did, right? The thing is, right, this person tried to pretend to people that they weren't interested in you, that you were too much to deal with, that you were crazy, okay? Um, people did not believe them, though, okay? Because people really look at you as, I mean, this is my woman with an ore card, okay? And the Queen of Cups, like somebody that's very loving, caring, beautiful, okay? It's like you have it all, right? Um, I'm hearing lucky. They feel like you're very lucky. And this person tried to create some type of story or tried to tell people they weren't interested in you. They also may have said that they tried to reject you. Again, people don't believe that, right? People look at this person as very immature. I do see this person ghosting you, okay? It's like they ghosted you because they wanted to throw somebody else around them off or a few people around them off. Um, but the thing is, they caused a lot of problems here. Like, they feel like they can't really take things to the next level. They're too scared of judgment. They feel like other people are going to judge them and they're sort of scared of it. They also feel like you're going to look at the, look at some, Look at them as somebody that is, like, chaotic, reckless. I'm hearing reckless, right? I do see this person also having, like, a habit of running away okay, from, like, their problems, okay, and it's, like, they caused a major problem here, um, this person was pretending to be somebody that they're not, okay, and now it's, like, they're running away, right, but I do see this person being pulled back to you, right, this person's also very frustrated at their own actions, This person is worried that whoever they were talking shit to is going to expose what they said, okay? It's like, I'm hearing confession, okay? It's like they're scared that this person's going to run their mouth and expose what they said. Um, the thing is, what they said was sort of trying to keep the other person away from you. This person is done with acting like they're not interested, okay? It's like they act like they're not interested. Nobody believes them, okay? They don't believe themselves. It's like they're overwhelmed by this connection, especially at the moment. They feel like that, again, they have some type of habit where they run away from their problems and they've been running from the connection. They feel like that's been getting them nowhere, right? This person also had the habit of running their mouth, okay, like lying, okay, and they could have lied and tried to, like, say something about you that wasn't true. The thing is, though, they get somebody going to come, like, somebody around them, okay, is very immature, they're also very petty, they're not to be trusted, and they're scared that this person is going to come forward and expose what they said. Yeah, this person was straight out lying about you, right? They said something about you that was a lie. 
but it would try it would like try to paint a picture of you that wasn't true to basically turn this other person away from you because this other person like your masculine here did not know if this other person was interested or not I'm hearing inappropriate comments okay they may have been commenting about you this is like a lie this person said out of frustration thing is they're so scared it's going to come out you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Capricorn it's like this person had trapped themselves okay I do see this person basically isolating themselves or withdrawing themselves okay away from you um because it's like they don't really feel welcome right Somebody may have already exposed what they said about you. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Pisces as well. I'm hearing Richard. I do see this person keeping themselves away from you, okay? Avoiding um, you because they're scared that somebody around them is going to basically expose them right I do see this person trying to paint you in a very dark light here okay they were lying about you and now it's like you were really like caring and giving to them and they decided to lie about an encounter you had okay there was an encounter you had and they lied about it okay Yeah, it's like they lied about it and they know they've made the wrong choice. It, it, they're staying away from you as well um, because they're trying to, they're also scared of your reaction, but they're also trying to this person knows that they were being petty. They also know that they feel like you already know or you're about to find out. This person was really mean. Really mean, okay? Very petty, um, causing conflict, okay? To keep people away from you. I'm hearing Charmaine. It's like this person tried to create some type of narrative that you tried to like come on to them or something and they rejected you, but nobody believes it. People do not believe it. Like people people already know this person um, and being unreliable, okay? It's like they know this person and being a liar, uh, making stories up to make them look good, okay? Um, and this is like that sort of situation. I'm hearing Adam. It's something very powerful about you, okay? Um, people can also see that you're very authentic and people just don't believe what they said, what this person said about you. This person feels like there's no coming back, like they ruined this connection and there's no coming back. But I do see them coming back, right? I do see them coming back, okay? I see them communicating with you very soon as well because this person can't get over you. They know they made the wrong choice. They were being petty and now they're going to communicate with you in secret because they're scared that whatever they did is going to come out. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. They really feel like they're going to try to reach out to you. They're going to try to communicate with you. The thing is, Behind the scene, they were angry or something. They were being really mean, really petty, made up some type of story, made you look like somebody that you would never be. Um, tried to change people's judgment about you, basically. But I do see this person... Wow. 
now this person is stuck right this person is stuck okay nothing's moving for them right um it's like they're stuck here it's like they they made their own bed and now it's time to lay in it type of vibe this person decided to be fake not authentic okay um and it's like they missed this opportunity they also decided to try to make you look like somebody that you are not okay and the thing is people know you so whoever they were talking to these people also know you um and they do not believe this person this person they're sort of delusional like they feel like people do believe them you could be dealing with a leo This person feels really lonely without you. They feel like they've made the wrong choice. Um, it's like they're really obsessing over this missed opportunity and how they've ruined this, right? I'm telling you guys, nothing's moving. Nothing's moving for this person, okay? It's like they decided to manipulate this whole connection, okay? This person was being selfish. They tried to make you look like somebody that you were not, right? Um, and now it's like they're getting karma. I do see them feeling very lonely, okay? People may be... It's like people may be, like, moving away from them, okay? They feel very lonely, very isolating, very isolated. Um, nothing's moving, okay? They don't seem to be getting any money or income. They may have lost their job, Um they also, okay, so this person, okay, it's like they used to flex their options. Now this person doesn't have any options. Like their options, there's no one. It's like they've lost their options, okay? The options that they were trying to flex, right? Um, it's like this person has a huge ego. They were trying to, they were definitely somebody that, you know, it's like more is better, okay? Uh, quantity over quality, right? Okay, they try to paint this picture that you know they could have who they wanted. Okay, they had all these options. Um, it's like they didn't need you type of vibe. The thing is, this person feels like they've like dug their own hole. Okay, um, this person is like it's messy. This feels messy. Okay, I'm also hearing nine nine nine. Let me know if that resonates. But this is messy, right? I do see this person going through. A very dark time at the moment okay and it's like they're very fixated on this missed opportunity they really want to come in and fix things right and there you are thriving right this person okay in the past um, I do see this switch of energy it feels like okay the runner turned into the chaser okay or it's like you were in a really bad place before about this connection and now you're in a really good place. It's like you've been set free and this person is in a really bad place. It's like you've swapped energy, okay? This person, um... Wow. I do see Divine Feminine, like, you've been set free, okay? There's opportunity coming to you, there's money coming to you, okay? Um, I do see that you're actually happy, right? You're happy without this person. You feel like you don't need this person. And this person is stuck missing you, okay? It's like they're stuck in the past. They can't stop. It's like they can't. I'm hearing reminiscing. They can't stop reminiscing about this, okay? It's like all they can do is think about you and miss you. And they are coming forward with communication, right? Um, this, it's like this person can't stay away from you anymore. There's so much in their feelings. This divine masculine is so much in their emotions at the moment. They can't stay away from you. Like, it, they're about to communicate, right? They're they're about to try to fix this. The thing is, you're looking at this divine masculine in a whole different way, right? In a whole different way. It's like you don't really care at the moment whether 
this happens or it doesn't, okay? You sort of see this divine masculine as somebody that's immature, okay? Somebody that can't really speak their mind and somebody that causes drama um, and then runs away from it. Somebody that causes a lot of, like, imbalance, right? It's like you're starting to realise your worth and you're starting to realise that you could do better than this Divine Masculine and in fact this Divine Masculine would be a setback for you, right? Because this uh, Divine Masculine ha is very immature, like what they're showing right now is very immature, okay? It's like they are running from their problems, okay? They can't seem to talk things through, they can't seem to apologise, they lie about everything, okay? They cannot show their emotion and it's getting to the point where you're like, you know what, I don't want somebody that, you know, pretends that they don't feel anything because this person does that. They pretend they don't feel anything. They put on some type of character, some type of immature mark here. Um, it's very childish, right? And it's like, oh, I don't feel anything. You know, I'm too tough to feel anything vibe. You know what I mean? Like, I have no emotion. That's what they try to show, but it's just not true. This person is also very stubborn. You could be focused on somebody else. You may have met somebody else or you're about to meet somebody else that makes you happy, that is very clear, okay? Like, they sh they come up with clear communication. Like, they're not playing any, like, oh, I have no emotions and I can't do this game. Like, you have somebody coming in your life that is actually going to show you that they want to be with you, they want to make you happy, you know what I mean? Um, and it's like, this person had so much time and they decided to do nothing, okay? And it's like, they do have these feelings for you, but they're so stubborn. They're so stubborn. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo. I'm hearing that song, but I don't know what it's called, hold on. So it's too little too late from Jojo, right? It's like this person had spent so much time lying about their feelings, creating more drama in this connection, running from the connection, ghosting you. Um, it's like leaving you hanging, doing nothing, right? And it's like this new person comes in and they make you really happy, right? They're not playing. I'm hearing soulmate. Like this is your soulmate and they're not playing no games. And it's getting to the point where... This person may come in and you may not want to, like, hear from them. This person, they give a fake vibe. Like, they give fake. I'm getting 888. Eight, eight. Yeah. I do see this person coming in, okay, communicating, wanting to work on things, okay? But I do see you walking away, okay? And it's like, they've spent so much time being confusing, okay, not communicating, trying to manipulate you, okay, to the point where it's like you don't even think you want it anymore, okay, like you're very disappointed, you feel like that this would be taking a step back, okay, yeah, I do see that you guys have switched energy, it's like this person's going to come in, right, and they're going to be very obsessive, okay? They're going to really want to fix things, okay? But the thing is, you sort of feel repulsed, right? Because there's something about this person. It's like they come with too much drama. They cause too much conflict, okay? They try to control the situation. They're also very possessive, yet very immature and stubborn, okay? So that's all I have for you guys. If it resonates, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.